So here's the fishing video from last last Thursday. The water temp was 48, four, anywhere from 46 to 48 degrees. We were fishing this day. It's dropped since then. No, I think it's in like the upper 30s now. But I haven't been out fishing since, except for a little excursion on Friday, Saturday. I mean. And here we were fishing for bluegills and crappie. We were fishing with a half a red worm or on a, like a size eight hook with a split shot like a foot above the hook and set about two feet below the bobber. And we were fishing and we were anchored in like three and a half feet of water and we were casting up into like two feet of water in the docks and the fish were related to the docks. And we caught a bunch of fish, mostly pan fish. So this that's what what we caught this day. This weekend I'll be probably do some more pan fish fishing. I might do I'll probably do some walleye or trout fishing too. And I'm gonna go in this pub crawl this weekend. So that's gonna cut into the fishing time, unfortunately, though, which sucks. But I'll still have some new fishing content for you. Got one. Is that a worm? Yeah. It's not that, but too bad of a gill. There's one. Yeah, he's a spider, dude. Little fighter. That's what I said. There's a lot of gills in here. Somebody copies the leaves or you want to hand me a worm, please, sir? Yeah. Well, I think that's your minnow. Oh, you got it. What do you got on that? A worm. Oh, okay. Then it's a gill. <laughs> yeah. Nicer one. No, my drake. Oh. Missed it. Big no, fish in a mess. Not very. I don't know how to find that. Oh, keeper than me. Look at that skills, man. Come on, where's the keepers? You're definitely catching keepers out here. Today. And he tears my worms up. I need another worm, please. Yeah. So, they're all cut up, but still. You don't need to keep any. It's called a DBL. It's called a, D it's called a DBL. Yeah. Right, you know what a DBL is? <laughs> You're fishing sharks today, dude. I swear you're fishing sharks, man. That's what it looks like to me. I want to go shark fishing so bad. <laughs> Them black guys are pretty funny this morning. They were giving one guy a bunch of hell. Uh, they need a keeper, though. That one's pretty small. That one's way small. Ain't, ain't nothing pretty about it. Ooh. They're getting bigger. I told you they're a little bigger and farther and closer in you get. Well, that's a keeper. I like to take. I'll get back to you when I'm done. When I caught my limit. There you go, crappy. No, I put on a worm. Oh, you cheater. What? You're cheating now. Finally, well, cheating. Missed my. You got yours. I missed my. A little big for him, I mean. A little big. A little big chunk. Just get in the mouth again, my meant to suck it in. Look at that. Oh, and I got your line. Now's uh, when I need my. Here. 
Oh, that's a perch. Is it? Perch. Oh, caviar. Those perch are just holding on to their eggs so the weather's fine. I know. They just keep. So, my shout outs for this video are going to go to Senja Aldi and Shine Bright Studio Photography. And to get in my shout outs, just comment on my videos and I'll eventually give you a shout out. And this day we were fishing for bluegill and crappie. The crappies weren't biting, we only managed to land one, which was after the battery went dead in the camera. And we caught about 20 to 30 bluegills. There was some sorting, but we ended up kept keeping like 15 of them, which I cooked up on Saturday night and they were delicious. And we caught, and I caught two ditch pickles or largemouth bass. This weekend, this spot is just going to get pounded by bass boats because there's two bass tournaments on this lake this weekend and this is the warmest water in the lake so every one of these docks is going to be flipped like crazy probably starting today through this weekend so i don't know if i'll fish out here on saturday or sunday but thanks for watching this episode of musky hands outdoors and please subscribe